Hey everyone, my name is American and welcome to a brand new review for Gotham episode 13 titled Welcome Back Jim Gordon. So you all know what happened in this episode, let's jump into what worked. This is going to be a first for me guys, I've never ever had an episode where nothing worked in this episode. As in not a single one thing actually worked for me in this episode. But because I want to be super fair and I don't want to be totally negative, I'm going to introduce a new section called what almost worked in this episode. So the only thing for me in this episode that actually almost worked was the Riddler. I actually liked the Riddler storyline. Last episode really introduced, you know, a hint of stress on Mr. Ed, and I really, really thought this was gonna be an episode where you saw more character development and he was gonna be like, do, do not humiliate me. Yeah, we're gonna see some Riddler action, what up? <sighs> no, before that actually happened, uh, Miss, whatever her name is, Winkle, something Winkle, came and apologized and he was like, there's still hope. And I'm like, no! <laughs> so, that is the only thing that almost worked in this episode. Let's jump into what didn't work. Jim, what happened to Jim? I thought we had new Jim in the house. I thought we had, I don't care, yo. I'm gonna do this, Jim. I'm gonna do what needs to be done to get the case. But no, we still had preachy Jim who was standing on his high horse with his values. Granted, he did reach out to the penguin and that led to some awkwardness. He's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wife and kids, I didn't know he was gonna do that. Mm, what? Oh no, Jim, you didn't know? It was, it was like, oh, I wonder how this criminal is going to obtain this information for me. I, oh, were you surprised? Were you shocked? New Jim is still old Jim. That's all I'm saying. Bruce, is this kid ever gonna become Batman? Like, for real? How? How is he going to become Batman? I don't see it because there is so much naive innocence. Oh my god, what do you mean you're not going to help me? But I ask nicely. You know what? That whole routine thing is kind of getting tiresome. I mean, what? We're 13 episodes in. He doesn't know how the world works. Someone needs to sit him down and tell him, buddy, people suck. And eventually one day you're gonna have to do something about it. And maybe you should prepare for that day. I don't know, man. Maybe I was in a bad mood in this episode, but God, Bruce was kind of annoying me. A little bit. Penguin and his mom. <laughs> I was like, eh, this, it could be interesting, right? No, no, there was no point in those two coming there. I think the thing that bothered me with the entire Penguin storyline, even through the ridiculous, completely unnecessary psychedelic moments where he's drinking champagne and going crazy, was how is he gonna explain this to Maroney? You know Fish Mooney who works for Falcone? Yeah, she's out and I have her club because I, I feel like he was a bit too calm and relaxed about that little fact that kind of flew into the face of what's going on and wasn't even brought up once? Not a one time! But what really got me was the whole fish and butch storyline. I was like, this is so ridiculously stupid, I don't even know where to start, all right? So let me get this straight. Falcone decides I want these two to suffer. And by these two, he really means fish, who's gonna be taken to this abandoned warehouse and have some sort of like mad scientist come and torture her. Sort of. I mean, very lightly. He put a bag over her head and he hit her once. I, I think that's, that's it. I mean, he spent a lot of time there and a lot of torturing going on. So I'm gonna go with not so good at your job, buddy. Not so good at your job. But it could have evolved into some interesting scene work and moments where you're just seeing her true character really come about and you you actually could have maybe felt something for her but no because butch who apparently was also being kept alive to be killed right because he wasn't going to get tortured they were driving him up somewhere so they could throw him in an incinerator well i don't think he was going to get tortured i don't know why he wasn't killed then but 
you know, let's skip over that fact. So, he's in the back of the van, he's restrained like crazy, but he manages to get out of his restraints. I don't know how. Like, I literally have zero idea how Butch got out of those restraints and killed those two guys. But you know what? Let's skip over that. That's fine, that's fine. Let's move on to Butch rescuing fish. They run away, she gets up, and he's actually being reasonable and saying, you know what, let's go. And she's like, no, I will kill Penguin. And I'm thinking, okay, this is kind of silly, but okay, fine. And then she tries to kill Penguin, fails. Zan comes and, you know, Zan, you know, who doesn't believe in hiding and taking cover when people are shooting at him, that, that guy. She escapes and then she asks Bullock to help her. And then what does she say? You know, I think I'm gonna leave town. I'm gonna lay low. I'm gonna lay low. And then I'm gonna just go away. But I will come back for Penguin. Okay. I mean, you could have done that before. To say that I didn't like this episode is an insult to episodes that I didn't like. There was literally not a single thing that I actually liked in this episode. And it went from last week being one of the best episodes ever. So I'm confused. I mean, is this a good show? I don't even know anymore because if this is the kind of episode they have in store for us, I can't, I can't do it. You know, I feel like a battered spouse somehow because Every week, it's like up and down and up and down. Is this a great episode? This is a terrible episode. Ah! Please tell me if you enjoyed this episode. I hope you did, because I did. So I want other people out there to actually have enjoyed something in this episode. So please tell me what you actually liked in this episode. Comment below and let me know. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.